Hey everybody, it's me, Emily. Does something look a little off to you? Let me let you take a closer look. You can tell now, right? Mascara on this eye, no mascara on this eye. Now I've done this before, remember on the layering liner video, I kind of started it all up in your face like that. <laughs> Hi! I'll include the link in the description, just to give you a little flashback, for two reasons. Number one, I think it's really funny, and it has a great tip about layering your eyeliner for some really long-lasting results. But, more importantly, it's actually a really great before for what I'm trying to show you right now. I've been using these three Revitalash products. The Revitalash Conditioner, this primer, which comes in a lovely, fun blue color, and the Revitalash Volumizing Mascara. I started by putting the primer and the mascara on this eye. So I started using this a few months ago, and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you probably saw the photo that I took of the before version in that layering lashes video, what my lashes looked like before I used this product. They're relatively long, they're relatively thick, but you can always have some room for improvement, right? So I was really excited to see, I was really excited to test this particular product to see the results, and I've been really happy with them. Now. This is how it works. At night, you put this lash conditioner and it comes with this fine little brush like this and you just layer it just like liquid eyeliner right at the lash line. Now, it is really uncomfortable if you get this into your eye. It doesn't cause any permanent damage. It won't hurt you. It doesn't make you go blind, but it just doesn't feel great. You apply this nightly, go get some beauty sleep, and then every morning you apply the primer, and we'll do it together. I love that the primer is blue because you can keep them straight. Now next, apply the volumizing mascara. It is a three-step process. The lash conditioner at night, and the primer and the mascara during the day. You have to use this for about, it says three to 10 weeks before you can start to see results. Some people consider that a con because you know, we want to see immediate results. I say just be patient and wait for your results. <laughs> One thing that I do think is a little bit of a disadvantage is after you use this consistently and you see these really great results, in order to maintain the results, you're gonna need to continue using the product. So, if you're not using the product, you are not going to see results. Mm. You may find this hard to believe, but I actually don't wear makeup every day. <laughs> I found that one of the challenges for me was remembering to apply this every day. I wanted to make sure that I used it really consistently so that I could see the most results possible. It took some getting used to, but I did get used to applying it every day. All in all, I would say that I'm really impressed with the results and I would like to keep using the product. It was less expensive than some of the other alternatives. I had great results with this product and I would definitely recommend that you try it. You don't need a prescription. It takes a little while for you to see the results and you do need to maintain the use to see the results consistently. I know some people just use the conditioner and the conditioner is probably the most important part anywhere. You can find it on like drugstore.com for $75 to $100. And the primer and the mascara you can find for anywhere from $20 to $25. So that's my experience with Revitalash. Let me know if you've tried Revitalash or any other topical treatments for your lashes. Did they work? Were you disappointed? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? I would love to know. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, drop by my website, emilyhudspeth.com. You can keep up with all these products that I'm trying by following me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy. I would love to hear from you and let me know what you think. Thanks.